Hi, this is John Perillo. We're going to show you how to do body stats today. That's how you get your most out of your training and your nutrition and your aerobics, how you tie everything together. Uh, quite a few years ago, ooh, a lot more than 20, I developed a nine-site body stat method where we measured body, your uh, skin, you take skin full caliber readings all over your body, we equate that to your diet track sheets, we find out how much muscle you're adding or losing, how much fat you're adding or losing, and this way we can adjust your training, diet, and aerobics to make sure that you're getting everything you want to get to make sure everything's going as good as it can be. So we're going to use Heather here to demonstrate. Here's a nine-point site. All right. First one, we take the pec. Um, the the accuracy of this is getting the same person to do it to you and, and using a lot of sites. That's why we developed the nine point sites. So I'm going to feel for the little groove here, right here, where her pec and her, and her, uh, and her delt tie in. I'm going to come down here and get a pinch of that right there. So that gives me a six and a half. All right. Six and a half. Subscapular. We get the middle of the scapula about an inch in. We'll go to pinch right about there. And we're getting a, an eight and a half. Okay. Eight and a half. Okay. Bicep. Now this is, she has a little freckle right there. I make a note on there, although that's not quite in the middle of the bicep. Here's a spot I can always hit. So I'm going to go right there and we have a little note on her bicep that we hit that spot. So that's a three and a half. Three and a half. Tricep. Come down here. Okay. There's an eight. kidney. So we find her little dimple up here, come over here where we get the most fat, and this is where everybody holds all their body fat. All right. Then we go super iliac. We find the iliac crest right here, the abs. We come about halfway over, right where this line comes down, right next to our abdominals is a good place to go. Okay, she's right on five there. Okay, abdominals, usually go an inch down and below, but since her belt usually goes there, we're going to go to the side, and here's another little freckle right there, so we can always hit that spot. So we get a six and a half. Okay, quadricep, they pull the pants up, she has stretch pants on, so it's easy, and she has another little, we want to get right in the middle, which is right about here, but she has a little... Another little freckle right there, so we're going to get right on that. Okay. And then her medial calf, inside middle of the calf. We usually go high on this because there's a little more fat up here, so we'll get her up here. Okay. Now we just add all these up real quick. Let's see. Divide by her body weight, 128. which is 128. We get a ratio. Okay, we multiply that to get percent body fat. We multiply that times 0.27. That's just the number I came up with by comparing people that were getting uh, other supposedly state-of-the-art body stats done at the time doing underwater weight. This is a lot easier to do, a lot quicker, and when it comes to getting ready for a contest, um, it's the best way we found because it doesn't take, a pinch of fat's a pinch of fat. Uh, things like underwater weighing and bog pod, if you actually eat a lot of broccoli and have gas, 
that can make you more buoyant and actually misread by about 2% body fat. So we're checking her percent body fat here is. Then we turn that into pounds of body fat by multiplying times her body weight. Okay, then we subtract that, the pounds of fat from her body weight to find how many pounds of lean mass she has. And this is good, this is, well, how long is it going to take me to get ready for a contest or how long is it going to take me to reach my goal? This is where you can see, okay, if I can lose, let's say the average competitor getting ready for a bodybuilding contest can lose about 1% of body fat a week. And let's say you're not training quite that hard or eating quite that well, if you can lose a half percent of body fat a week. So if Heather, usually getting ready for a contest, can lose, she can lose about one and a quarter pounds of fat a week, we can see how long it'll take her to get ready for a contest and how far out she needs to start dieting real hard. And then in the off season, this is real handy because she can actually, if you can, the important thing is you, when you're dieting down, you diet down so you don't lose any lean mass because that'll slow your metabolism down. When you're trying to gain, you try to you can adjust your diet, and especially your protein to carbohydrate ratio, which denotes how much glucagon and insulin you release, and so you can gain muscle without gaining fat. So this keeps you this this helps you really tweak your diet and tweak your training and your aerobics to make sure that you're getting the results you want and not just training hard or dieting hard and then it, it doesn't happen the way you want it to happen. So then the final thing we have is the body stat score. So week by week we will, the body stat score is a score we give so that you, it's a, you get an indication of what's going on. Let's say if Heather started dieting for a contest, the, let's say the first week if she lost two pounds she might get on the scale, she might be real happy. Well, if a pound of that was fat and a pound of that was lean mass, the lean mass she lost would slow her metabolism down, make it harder for her to lose the next pound of fat. So that would be a wash in the body stat score because we, we give a point for every, for every pound of fat you lose and a point for every pound of lean mass you gain and vice versa. If she got on the scale and it didn't, nothing happened, she might be disappointed, but when he, we did her body stats, if she lost a pound of fat and gained a pound of lean mass, that would give her a plus two in the body stat score because that the pound of fat she lost would be great, and then the pound of lean mass she gained would make it easier for her to lose the next pound of fat since that increased her metabolism. So the body stat score becomes pretty important. So this is a nice tool we can use to make sure when we're training and dieting and doing everything, that we maximize the results we're trying to get from all the effort we're putting into what we're doing. Hope that helps.